A legend in the National Basketball Association wants to try hostage negotiation. <laughs> Will Dennis Rodman put on eyeliner to go and save Brittany Griner? <laughs> That's a good one. And <laughs> NBA Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman says he's headed to Russia to help get Brittany Griner back. You'll recall Griner, an American WNBA player, is currently being held there on a nine-year prison sentence for cannabis possession. Hopefully she can return to the U.S., where her only punishment would be having to play in the WNBA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> According to Rodman, he's received permission to travel overseas to aid her return, although it should be noted that nobody knows who, if anyone, authorized Rodman to work in a <laughs> diplomatic capacity. Back in 2017, Dennis Rodman claimed to have helped negotiate the return of American Otto Warm Beer, who was held captive in North Korea. And Rodman famously has had a chummy relationship with North Korea's dictator Kim Jong Un. Now he says he also knows Vladimir Putin, too, <laughs> even calling him cool in a 2014 interview. Whether or not Dennis actually travels to Russia is like a WNBA game. We don't know if anyone will ever see it. <laughs> but, but full disclosure, everyone, I'm a little biased. So before we get into the discu uh, discussion, we got to play this real quick. So Cat thinks Dennis Rodman is really, really hot and always has been. So please excuse everything she's about to say. If you disagree with it, it's not her fault. He's so hot. <laughs> it's true. Everyone's like, is she joking? I'm not joking. Uh, Douglas, I've had a huge crush on Dennis Rodman since I was five years old. Am I going to be okay? Uh, <laughs> What, I mean, you want him to come and save you? What? What? what I have. I feel like now I have to play harder to get than that. You should uh, <laughs> take drugs to Russia, and he'll come. <laughs> he'll come. He'll I come. know. <laughs> I knew that if Greg wasn't here, then we'd have to do a cat drugs joke at some point. Oh, so. I guess. Anyhow, no. Um, uh, it's it's very strange. I was I was in North Korea some years ago, and it, and I discovered that there, people there know almost nobody from the outside world. Mm -hmm. Almost nobody. I mean, they're like heard of Chairman Mao. And they've heard of Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Can you imagine what a strange I, world that is? I have a theory. They like think he's some like magical Hot guy. Well, no. <laughs> I was going to say like he. They think he's like Kofi Annan or something. He's like some new international diplomat, mm -hmm. and they don't seem to realize that here he's Dennis Rodman, and only <laughs> only you have this great <laughs> love of him. <laughs> and yeah, anyhow, you'd love you'd love North Korea. No. They hold him in the same esteem that you do. Uh -huh. Look, if you could control who you do and do not think is hot, like, th that'd be better, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, like, Dagan, who would be a better negotiator, do you think? Joe Biden or Dennis Rodman? Dennis Rodman is always great to put on display because it reminds all young people that facial piercings don't age very well. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I did start thinking, if I got stuck overseas because I had, like, weed juice in my suitcase, who would I want to come rescue me? And I figured, Russell Crowe, he's Australian, he doesn't need to get permission from the U.S. government, and even though he's pretty puffy now, I'm still down to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Uh, I've gotten used to it over seven years. Yeah. I'm just so happy. What? Robin has a job, so yeah. that's cool. I'm sure your husband was stoked about it. Oh, he's way. already, he already knows. Yeah. He already knows. Um, he already knows. You know, Dennis Rodman built a reputation as one of the most ferocious athletes on the planet. He drove guys crazy on the court, and he had this cult following overseas because he did stuff that no one else could do. He defended people. He got, like, 20... Re he was annoying. Everyone wanted to punch him and beat him up, but then he was insanely tough. And so these dictators, they kind of were drawn to him because he was like, if they played basketball, that's how they... Because they couldn't shoot to save their lives. Um, basketball, people they're good at. <laughs> but... <laughs> You should see their stats. Born it's phenomenal. Yeah. But uh, oh, I got to be careful. But, uh, you know, he had that reputation where Michael Jordan, we all loved him here in Bottom Shoes, but overseas, Dennis Rodman was something special. Plus, I think deep down, Young and Putin, they kind of wanted to do the hairdo and the piercings and stuff. So 
He made relationships with them. They just like seeing him like, this is how I want to be. I want to be tough and pretty. So he's probably the best choice to go over because they let him over. <laughs> We're yeah. saying we don't know who let him over. Putin let him over. Yeah. We just, you know, don't want to get him mad at us. You know, and so when, if we have some more issues with China and the trade, since they won't let Trump negotiate anymore, send Dennis over there. He'll probably fix it for us. He'll get those backed up boats over here. <laughs> so I don't care how he sprays it, paints it, whatever. He'll go over there. I bet he brings her back. Yeah. Because he's Dennis <laughs> Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you think he can do it? It's, we're really in a pickle here between, you know, the whole Rodman Biden thing. Because when you think about past performance on the world stage, though, like one guy always flies to other countries and does sound like he's on drugs, and the other guy's Dennis Rodman, you know? <laughs> Stupid. Hey, we got nothing to lose. Tyrus is right. At the very least, Brittany Griner will get a contact high off Rodman, you know, which is good. But the whole truth of it is. I don't know what else we're supposed to do because there's really been no movement on this. You feel like under past administrations, we would be in a very assertive level of engagement right now. But I do still believe that Biden thinks WNBA is a radio station in Delaware, so nothing's going to happen. Mm. All With right. Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> All right, well, Dennis, I believe in you. And also, I may be married, but I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.